and box extension. The celebration of turning red winning Disney Plus this week. I'll be taking a detailed look at the brand new just released big collection of Disney Pixar turning red and collectible main figures from Just Play Toys. For anyone interested in grabbing these for your collection, I picked these line boxes up this past weekend at Walmart for four ninety seven each. Now this assortment is dubbed Series One, but I've been let down too many times when a series says that, alluding to more in the future, and then it never happens. Now obviously a lot of times series do continue on with more if popular enough, but we'll see if that actually ever happens here in this case. At any rate, for now here in Series One there are eleven figures to collect total. I know it only shows ten on the boxes and on the display unit, but there's actually one mystery rare figure in the mix as well, which isn't shown here. So stick around to see what it is during my unboxing. So right off the bat, my only real main criticism here is the one that I already mentioned in my reveal video, and that's just the lack of variety with the characters here. There's eleven figures here in Series One, yet technically only one character is represented, which is May. Yeah, we have Human May and Panda May, but still the same character. All the different versions included here featuring May's many emotions are fun, and I really like the designs of what we are given, no doubt. Um, but I still would have loved to see some more characters, as I know the film had a lot of them, especially May's best friends. Before I judge things completely, though, I'll wait to see if Series Two does happen, since it could be in the plan that additional characters will be coming in. Anyway, with my initial thoughts out of the way, let's go ahead and get each one of these open. Oh, and you're gonna be thrilled about this. This assortment does have blind box codes, so you don't need to guess which one is in the box, whether you're looking for them all or just some select favorites. So check this out. On the bottom of each box is this printed code, and the numbers you want to pay attention to are the last three digits. Those are the ones that will correspond to a particular design, um, a particular figure. So, for example, this one's code is 109, and we'll see which one that ends up being once we get opening, of course. So yeah, before I open up each figure, I'll be sure to share the code with you all so that you have them to jot down or whatever for when you go out and your search for these. Make sense? And real quick, I also just wanted to share an all-around look at the counter display unit just to cover everything. Um, one thing I wanted to mention that I love is how this unit and the individual boxes and the figures themselves, for that matter, keep with the film's signature pink slash raspberry red and mint color palette, even down to the figure stands, as you'll see. Alrighty, let's do this. So all the boxes are the same, so I'll just give an all-round look at this. Picture. And sometimes she has red hair. From what I gather, it seems she gets her red hair once she starts having her panda transformation. Um, she's also seen wearing a winter hat or a beanie at some point too, like she's trying to hide her new red hair at school. So it makes total sense. But yeah, you'll notice that with these figures here as well, that she either has dark hair or red hair. Okay, a little sidetrack there. But next up is code one three zero, and it is happy red panda May. I like that with the red panda May figures, the bases are that kind of mint green color, while the human May figures, the bases are like a raspberry red to differentiate the two and to bring the film's color scheme into things. Next is code 115, and it is Starstruck Human May. And just like in the film, we got that stylized anime influence here. <laughs> Next up is code 145, and it's Starstruck Panda May this time. Again, the eyes here have that added anime touch. Next we have code 103, and it's another Happy May, this time as her human self. Next is code 138 and it's Excited Red Panda May. I really think how this one is sculpted with her tail there, kind of propping her up. Really good. 